today I'm in my car. I am parked. I'm not driving. I'm not doing anything illegal. And even though I'm parked, my seatbelt is on. And I'm aware that you can barely see me. So hopefully for my next one of these kind of videos, I'll find a better place to put my phone, which is what I'm recording on. There are people watching me and I think they think I'm crazy. Anyways, I decided to film this quick video in my car. So I'm just going to get on to the video, but make sure you stay tuned till the end because I have a few announcements, including if this car vlog type thing could be a series on my channel. So just stay tuned if that is something you're interested in. Anyways, on to the video. I'm going to be showing you the makeup that I keep in my bag or the makeup that I keep with me at all times, whether it's in my purse or in my school bag. Like the makeup I have just in case I need to touch up anything or in case I need to look decent and I don't. So the thing is that sometimes I wake up late so I don't have time to do my makeup in the morning before leaving my house so I just take my makeup with me or in this case I have it with me like I have this little bag in my bag at all times just for those kind of occasions that if I have to leave my house really fast and I don't have time to do my makeup I have a backup in my bag so I can fix my makeup. I don't do it while I drive I know that's not safe I don't like doing it I don't feel comfortable doing doing it so what I do is I usually go to my first class and then like after my first class if I have time I'll go to the bathroom and fix my face so that I look decent so anyway that is a long ass introduction I'm just going to get on to showing you what's in my little portable makeup bag this is the bag that I have it is an old ipsy bag it's just yeah it just has it says ipsy there and it has little stars on the inside Anyway, I really like this bag because it's dark and it doesn't look like a makeup bag so I just throw it in my bag and no one even knows that it's a makeup bag. Is that weird? I don't even know. Okay, so anyway, the first thing I have in here is a little mirror. This mirror is from Forever 21, I believe. I got this a long time ago and it was 280 so it's just like a double mirror so I can do my makeup because you need a mirror to do your makeup, especially on the go. Okay, so after that I just have concealer concealer is like my number one essential to look awake and to look decent and you guys already know how obsessed I am with this concealer in particular this is the Maybelline instant age rewind dark eraser dark circle eraser concealer it is by far the best drugstore concealer that I have tried until today until this date so I'm not changing this anytime soon because I really love it by the way if anyone was wondering I am in the shade light so after my concealer, I have just this little spoolie um, eyebrow pencil thing. This is by Tarte and it's from my brow mousse kit. I just have this because if I'm on the go, I don't have time to like fix my eyebrows. So I'll just comb them out and that's that for my eyebrows, I guess. So after that, I just have a little sample of Benetint by Benefit. I really, really love this stuff. It's so much simpler than having to carry like blush and then a blush brush and a bunch of stuff to look like you're alive. So I just apply a few swipes of this on each cheek and then I blend it in with my fingers. In my opinion, it's just so much faster and so much easier than carrying blush and a brush already said that or cream buffs or something like that I just love this stuff and it's a perfect color for my skin tone I believe this works really well with a lot of skin tone so if you haven't tried this I definitely do recommend it um, I was also gonna say that you can also use this on your lips if you don't want to carry lipstick this is a multi-function type product you just put this on your cheeks put it on your lips and you are done so after that I have Oh my gosh, what else do I have? I have a lipstick in here. I don't usually wear this on a daily basis, but I did wear it the other day and it's still in here, so that's why I have this. This is by Maybelline. This is the color Sensational. I have no idea what it is. It's just by Maybelline. And it's in the color 420 Deepest Cherry. It's just a beautiful fall color. It is a bit risky, so if you don't like dark colors, and I would probably not recommend it, even though I do recommend dark colors, I absolutely love dark lip colors even more than bright lip colors so yeah it's just a purple deep red type color almost purple so it's just really pretty for fall I have nothing else to say about that okay so after that I just have a little tiny tube of mascara this is the bad gal lash by benefit um, it's a really small sample that I got in. I don't even know where I got it. It's just a sample, but I absolutely love this mascara. It works so well. Look at that brush. It's so big and like such a little tube. That's what she said. Anyways, um, yeah, I just carry this because it's a really good mascara. And in my travel bag, I definitely need mascara because if I had to choose one makeup product to wear, it would probably be mascara and like lip balm because mascara just defines your eyes and makes them look way more awake. If you don't have time to do anything else, just apply mascara and I'm sure you'll be good to go. Okay, so there's only one more thing in my little makeup bag and that is this Almay 
color in Care Liquid Lip Balm, and this is in the color Nude Treants. That's naughty. Anyways, this is just basically a nude, almost clear lip balm type thing. It looks like lip gloss, but it's not. It's not sticky. And I'm also obsessed with these. If you watch my videos, you probably already knew that I am beyond obsessed. They work really well for sensitive skin, which is what I have. I have allergic reactions to a lot of makeup products, and then this doesn't do that for me. So I absolutely love these. I have them in like every single shade I'm pretty sure it's a problem anyways I have this color in here because it's just such a neutral color I really like it for college and just on a daily basis to wear without looking too wild and I just noticed I think there is a weird line in my camera it's probably gonna suck because the Sun is hitting the lens oh no anyways I'm almost done with this video so I'm just going to go ahead and finish it off that's everything in my bag actually so recap I just have my liquid lip balm a mirror my eyebrow spoolie brush thing, my bad gal mascara, concealer, blush, or in this case, a cheek tint, benetint, and then I have this extra lipstick just in case I want to pump it up. So that is everything that's in my bag. That is it for this video. Now for the announcements that I was talking to you guys about. First things first, this could be a possible series because I really like the idea of like setting my iPhone in my car and talking to you guys and just showing you whatever you want to see. So if you're interested in this becoming a sort of series, and I promise I will find a better place to put my camera next time. Um, if you're interested in this becoming a series, go ahead and let me know in the comments and tell me what kind of videos you would like to see like me doing in my car. For example, what's in my makeup bag, which is what I just did. If you want like advice type videos in my car, or if you just want vlogs like talking about what happened on a daily basis, just let me know any type of idea that you may have for this type of video. Leave those in the comments. And then second and last announcement, I believe, is that I feel like I want to talk to you guys more because I have my social media, I have my Instagram and my Twitter, but I feel like I don't have even half of you guys. Like I barely have you guys on there. So go ahead and follow me on Twitter or Instagram if you have either of them so I can interact more with you guys because I feel like when I'm not posting on YouTube, I'm not talking to you and that makes me really anxious. I wanna to talk to you guys more and I really do talk to you guys a lot on Twitter. The few people that I have, I talk to you guys a lot and you know who you are. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram and on Twitter, go ahead and do that so we can keep in touch and be BFFs. I don't know what I'm doing, BFFs. Anyways, that is it for this video. I'm going to go because I am in a parking lot and people are looking at me really, really strangely. They must think I'm crazy. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what's going on in your lives in the comments below. And if you're not already subscribed to me, go ahead and do that. I send a million kisses your way. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Bye.